in my uh, goal to do these quick tutorials that are helpful, I will try and just show you this one. Technically, I'm showing you two things. You're going to be either adding or changing keyboard shortcuts within uh, Pro Tools. Now, you can actually do this for any application on your Mac. You can also, uh, f well, this one's going to be for a Mac. But I think on a Windows, it would actually be easier. Anywho, moving right along. You're in Pro Tools. There's something that you would like to uh, add a keyboard command for that doesn't already exist. For example, save as. So you might use save as a lot, and you, you know, why can't I just hit control something S or whatever you want to do? So we're going to go over here to the system settings. You're going to hit keyboard. You're going to come down here to application shortcuts. Mine has already has Pro Tools added here, but yours just won't have this here. You might have Finder. I have a, a deal for cut and paste in Finder. But anyway, you're going to add Pro Tools, so you're going to hit add. So this is actually how you add the keyboard command, and you're going to tell it Pro Tools. Now also assume that none of this is showing up here. You're really just going to need to go all the way down Again, however yours looks, you want to find this other and go select Pro Tools. Mine already has Pro Tools showing because I've used it. So you're telling it to add a keyboard command to Pro Tools only, and you need to type it exactly as it is in the menu. It says capital S, A, V, E, space, capital A, S, uh, ellipses, three dots. Now I'm just going to go ahead and assign F19 because the uh, those four function keys are open. And it's an easy way for me to show you. So now save as is F19. You don't need to restart anything. Just come over here to Pro Tools and bam. So now I'll hit F19 right now. And we are saving as. Save session as. That simple. Now here's the other thing that I like to do. There's a couple of keyboard commands that I hate that always get in the way. For example, I'll show you uh, this one. See up here. I accidentally hit... Command K all the time, not all the time, but sometimes, and it's just when I'm not paying attention, so then my cursor doesn't play from where I want it, or it starts playing too long, or it stops playing, and I want it to, I want the post roll to be on. Anyway, I hate Command K, so it's easy. Go over here, do the same thing, keyboard, we're in application shortcuts, we're in Pro Tools here. Uh, in fact, we'll leave that one on. Now you have to type it. Uh, pre slash post dash roll. You have to type it exactly as it is in the menu. And I'm just going to go ahead and add it to F18 since I haven't used that one yet. So now you'll see F18 right there. Now we come over here. F18 is turning on pre and post roll. All right. Now you might say, well, Ryan, uh, did you just totally screw up Pro Tools? You know, what if I want to, if I don't like that? Don't worry. It'll immediately revert back if you delete a command. In fact, I'll show you both of them. We'll delete both of these. Come over here to Pro Tools, Pre and Post Roll, back to the evil command K. File, Save As, back to nothing. So it's that simple. Hopefully that helps you out. Again, want to thank uh, Dave Pensado for showing me this originally in his Pensado's Place, a great series on YouTube if you haven't checked out his videos. The genius producer, uh, Pensado's Place. Anyway, hopefully that helps you out. Bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.